If you've ever wondered what a radio football reporter or commentator uses as equipment when they're broadcasting from a football match, whether it be in the UK, in Europe or around the world, then the piece of equipment that's in this case has been the standard go-to piece of equipment used by major broadcasters for more than 30 years. Yes, there are other manufacturers, there are other pieces of equipment that can be used to broadcast from sporting events or events that news channels are covering, but this has been the standard for most major broadcasters. And it's a piece of kit made by Glen Sound Electronics. This is not an advert for Glen Sound, by the way, I'm not getting paid for this or anything, but this is a piece of kit that I've been using for 30 years. Not this specific one, I bought this one recently. It's the first one I've ever owned, but I was loaned kits earlier in my career and it's called an ISDN mixer. And this one's a GSGC5 model. They make them half the size of this where they have one or two channels. This is a four channel mixer three microphone inputs, A, B and C, and a tape input for any pre-recorded audio you might want to play through that channel. And the way it works is that using an ethernet cable, a standard RJ45 connector, you plug into the back here, but you have to be plugged into a dedicated ISDN line. It will not work in a modem, and it certainly won't work in any telephone line because it's a completely different connector. You need an ISDN line. And what it gives you is a quality studio line. And that's why it's been used for so long and has been so reliable in the industry. The way it works is that just like a telephone, you dial into a number using the keypad here. And once you connect to your relevant broadcaster and their studio, their hub, these two lights come on. This one comes on first, the red one. And then the green one, the codec, comes on. And that's really important because both of these need to be solid for you to have a solid connection. If this one is flickering, you haven't got a solid connection and you will be ducking in and out. You'll be, you might have heard if you're listening to the radio, occasionally lines go out very suddenly with a little squeak of a sound. That's when that light goes out. If the power goes, both of these go. You can use batteries or you can use mains. I tend to use batteries because I've had several instances where the mains lead has either been slightly faulty, so if you touch it, you lose your connection, or in a lot of cases, other people in tight press boxes have inadvertently knocked the lead out, sometimes when you're in the middle of a commentary and you don't want that to happen. So I think as long as you've got fresh batteries, and I've always got a spare set here, that's the best way to operate these pieces of kit. Now. To get on the air, once you've connected, you then obviously need to have your microphone input and headphone input connected. Now I've got a headset here with a microphone that comes around to my mouth and this operates off a quarter inch jack and an XLR connector. But you can also use a standard set of headphones. These are Bayer Dynamics, which are again, standard um, issue in the broadcast industry. But you can also use a standard set of headphones with a lip mic or a ribbon mic. These are the ones that you might see that have got that little bar. They're brown and they go up against just above your lip because they are specifically designed for noisy environments, as are these in some cases. They can be used by plugging into there. And once you're on the air, well, you're ready to go. And as long as, I say, as, long as these lights are on, as I say, you're in a good position. So if I go to a match and I'm reporting, then I might, I'll use this channel here, A, for my microphone or headset. And then I might use channel B or C to plug in an effects mic using a standard open mic like this Sennheiser, um, using these XLR leads here, just to give you a bit more atmosphere. And if I'm commentating with a co-commentator, this particular model is ideal because I can use these two dials to basically get the right level in my headphones and the right mix, because one of them goes into one ear and one goes into the other. The mixer out is my voice, or what I'm hearing through this kit, and the cue is what's coming from the studio. So the presenter in the studio or another event that you're listening to before you come in and do your, your piece. So the commentator can use that and the co-commentator can use that side and you can still have an effects mic on channel C and even play something in if you want to. So it's a really good piece of equipment. It's heavy, it's solid, this is the best condition I've ever seen one in. I've got really lucky with this. I bought this on eBay. They normally retail, I think, at nearly £2,000. I got this for £126 off eBay, and it's mint condition, and it works perfectly. Um, the case I got for a couple of quid, 
Even the microphone was 25 quid off eBay, and these were 100 pounds off a site called Reverb, which you may have heard of if you like your audio equipment or you like musical equipment. So that's the kit. That is it. You go to the ground, you sit in your position in the press box or the gantry, you plug it all in, you dial up, and you're ready to go.